glad to meet you guys. <laughs> Many of you probably already know Professor Candy. I'm uh, John Fortman. I'm Vice President of Walls from College. With you, with you, with you, you might follow the road system. You can say pretty quick what spreads. And it's about the hardships that spread all over South Georgia through this whole region here. From the Florida border and a little below, all the way up through Brooks, Smiles, Snow, Ferret, Fifth, Horse, Berlin, all the way to Turner, Jane Hill. All the waters flowing into the city with the Gucci and Hot Car Rivers and into the Swanee. And where does all the water come from? Where does it go? Where, where does the water you drink from come from? That's more than aquifer, but it's all related. And Professor Tim is going to talk about that. So uh, he has also been involved in some politics uh, related to the aquifer. I may, uh, a little, at the end, we can talk about the so, All right, well, we'll say that yeah. until it gets Yeah, I, I'm going to uh, start out, uh, like you said, I'll show you um, another, this is actually his diagram of those streams, so, uh, we do um, classes here in geography of stream networks. But to be honest, I don't think there's a more detailed uh, map. I mean, you can get this out of uh, a GIS layer, but, but um, a lot of these uh, streams really have to get out there with a canoe and start you know, figuring out with a GPS where they're going in some places, because even though there's, there's uh, layers in the state of mapping, there, there may be changes from year to year. They um, sometimes don't go in one direction all year round. They might switch. Because we have very low gradient uh, topography here. Um, so that basically, this, those of you here in my geology class, that uh, basically means there's not a lot of slope. We haven't really, uh, that would be more of a, a geography class. And basically all of the topography in Georgia is <coughs> below about, about 300, 200 feet um, once you get uh, south of this feature called the fall line. So this is why it's called the coastal plain because uh, in one way or another it was part of uh, the ocean, the Atlantic Ocean or some other bodies of water um, throughout the last 60 million years or so. And the, basically the Atlantic shoreline was the fall line uh, around 60 million years ago, and then it dropped down, and then it seems to have gone back up in a uh, period around 30 million years ago, and there was a lot of uh, shallow sea and that created limestones. So that's part of the, the story about why we have this uh, abundant uh, water is that it's being stored in 